Good morning world. Um, I'm whispering a little bit because it is currently 6.01 and everybody else is pretty much asleep although I think Chris's alarm is probably going off now. Um, Lily woke up at 5 and uh, well, I'm about to sleep again so excuse this lighting is dreadful as well isn't it. Um, so yeah I just thought I'd kind of pop on say good morning. Um, it is, what is the date today? 14th of April 2023. I think it's probably been, oh my god, like two years since I spoke to you last, or since I uploaded a video last. Um, I massively underestimated how much I could do with a small baby. Um, so there's so much to catch up on because Lily is like, two and a half now and Holly is five um but I wanted to start vlogging today because um I've got quite an important day today I will update you on why a bit later on um but at the moment I'm just gonna enjoy my cup of coffee whilst there's a little bit of peace because as every parent knows if your kids are still in bed and you're up that's a bit of a win <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna enjoy my coffee um, and I'll speak to you throughout the day. Hello, okay, so it is, oh, what is the time? It's five to one, I'm on my lunch break, I'm working today, I'm working from home, so just having a bit of a break from lunch. I might take these off just so things aren't reflecting in my glasses. Um, and I just thought I'd pop on and tell you how the day is gonna go. Basically, a little bit of a health update for me. I lost my voice probably about six weeks ago now. Two weeks before that, two or three weeks before that, it wasn't great and I had a bit of an issue where I had white spots at the back of my throat for a day um, and then it was just really, really painful and really, really sore. I called the doctors and they said they thought I had laryngitis. I had a couple of concerts, big concerts coming up so I was just really conscious that I might not be able to um, get through the concerts so I called the doctors. They told me to gargle um, some stuff that you can get from the chemist. I can't remember what it's called now. Just, but it was more. That was more for the pain. Um, got through one concert, and then uh, yeah, my voice just completely, completely went gradually over a week, and then nothing, absolutely nothing. And I had about two weeks where it really, really wasn't good. Um, you can hear it now. It's really croaky. So. Um, I don't know how by I don't know how but I got through a big concert that we had in Bath Abbey which was a two-nighter um, that I was singing a solo in so I managed to get through that but it's just not been right since I feel it's not right I know it's not right I can hear it's not right um, I can feel it's not right and I got we had a rehearsal for Four Sopranos which is another thing that I'm gonna update you on um, there's so much to update you guys on because actually I haven't been about for like the last two years so you probably don't know what I'm talking about. Um, but we had a music rehearsal the other night and um, it just, I got quite upset because it's just not right, it's not there. So I have called somebody who, I'm pretty sure she is a uh, vocal health first, ra first aider, first aider um, because you can actually do that, that course um, through, I can't remember what it's called now voice health something online I can't remember what it's called but um I called her and I spoke to her and she said I know her I used to teach with her um she said she would happily have me around and, and listen in so I'm going around there today at five o'clock um for her to have a listen I don't know how the format of the lesson is going to be I presume she's maybe going to get me doing some vocal exercises and she can have a really good listen to what's going on I'm worried that it's many things, but I guess the main worry for me and for any vocalist is that it's going to be something really bad that can't be rectified, um, which I don't even want to go there. I don't even want to go there because it makes me upset. Um, she told me to bring some music, so I've pulled out a couple of bits of music to take with me um, that hopefully she said we might not even get to that, but if we do, then you know, there's something that I can sing for her. And we'll just see how we go, see how we get on. So I will probably update you um, after that, or maybe just on my way. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's my day today. And then it's a Friday, so it's the weekend. Woohoo, the weekend coming up. So I might vlog a bit over the weekend. The weather is looking a bit rubbish today. We've got one child in nursery today, 
and one is it's currently the Easter holidays it's the last day of the Easter holidays so uh, my mum and my dad have got Holly our eldest and they have gone to Longley which we are very fortunate enough to currently at the moment that's going to change have annual passes to and um and just pop over them we've got nothing much to do so they've gone to Longley to have a good old day um and sorry I just got distracted there's a cat in the garden So I'm going to have some lunch, uh, log back on, um, carry on working, probably going to log off about half past four, I've got everything ready to take with me and then head over for that lesson. So fingers crossed, whatever is going on is manageable, but we will see. Okay, so we are on our way, I'm laying down with stuff, I've got my music, I've got water, I've got a package that I need to... Um, drop off somewhere. I've got my diary because the address is in here and I can't quite remember where I'm going. So uh, yeah, onward we go. Hello. Um, so let's stop the indicator going. I have just finished um, my lesson. I've just pulled over to chat to you. So it's raining. So if you hear the windscreen wipers, let's actually turn them off a little. Let's sort myself out. Oh, so it was so good. It was such a good lesson. She had a really good listening to my voice. Um, we did some breathing techniques that were just incredible. The sound I was making was really good, but there is something not quite right there. Um, she says she doesn't think it's anything irreparable or anything really damaging or worrying. She thinks it possibly could just be strain. Um, and also the biggest thing, which I have known for a long time, is that I'm not singing correctly. You know, I worked harder in there than I have worked in a long, long time. And I don't have vocal lessons myself anymore. And I have to do those things. I have to um, have them. So uh, she's referring me to a lady who's a vocal health specialist. And uh, we're going to, hopefully, she's going to suggest that we have the camera down to have a look and see exactly what is going in so that we can rule anything out. And then once something is ruled out or noticed or whatever we can then deal with it moving forward and we can have lessons etc but it was so good it was it was just it was just great it was really good it was good to be seeing again good to be using my my diaphragm like I haven't used my diaphragm in ages and I feel really bad because this is the stuff I'm teaching to kids and I need to be getting it right myself but it's just it's just laziness it's life life happens life gets in the way um you know so anyway I'm waffling but it was really good and I'm, I've come out hopeful that there's not irreparable damage done which is great um but i am keen to contact this lady and you know take a look down there <coughs> excuse me croaky now that's better um just to rule everything out but fingers crossed all good so it's now friday it's it's always been friday it's quarter past six i am gonna go and get some petrol now because i don't have much petrol my bleeper is bleeping at me um maybe pick up a bottle of wine and uh, have that when the girls have gone to bed with Chris. Possibly have an early night. It's been a bit of a day. It's been a bit of a week. I feel like this week's been really, really long. Um, I don't know why. It's been like a four day week, but it's just been so long. And I've just been very unmotivated. Maybe all of this stuff with my voice has been playing on the back of my mind, I don't know. But um, yeah, uh, and then tomorrow morning, all being well, if Lily is still well, we are going for breakfast to meet my cousin, who's very heavily pregnant, um, to go and have breakfast, which will probably be the last time we have breakfast with the baby inside her, because um, she's due very, very soon. And um, yeah, I may take you along with me. We'll see. We'll see how I'm feeling in the morning if I fancy vlogging. Um, but yeah, I shall speak to you soon. Good morning everyone, um, <clears throat> it is Sunday, it is the 16th of, um, what month are we? April. <laughs> Last time I spoke to you, I think I just finished that vocal lesson and I was on my way home and I haven't picked up my camera since. I think this is the thing with getting back into vlogging, I think it's a, it's a huge confidence thing and the reason is, I'll tell you now, I was going to take you on our little trip to breakfast yesterday. Um, I went with my cousin and my aunt and went with my mum and it was just me and the girls and it was lovely and it was such a lovely lovely place but I didn't even take my camera because I just thought it's just going to be carnage 
and it was I was carrying all sorts of crayons and coloring and and I to the thought of fitting in a camera and vlogging bits at the same time yeah it just wouldn't have worked it wouldn't have worked so um I didn't take my camera with me but I have this massive confidence thing with vlogging outside outside of the house um vlogging in public I don't know I just I really 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 want to do proper not proper vlogging but do you know what I mean um you know day day in the life of that type of thing and I just have to get past this nervousness of going out that front door with my camera in front of my face and talking to a camera and if somebody goes past it'd be fine um but I'm not there yet and I don't know when I will be there so we'll just have to wait and see there's going to be an opportunity that arises that is the perfect opportunity to do it so that is when I will do it but um yeah right now it's just not quite there yet uh but yeah what so what do we do we yesterday was really lovely we had a really really nice meal at a place called Bassett Down which is just outside Royal and Bassett as you, before you go into Swindon um it's like a golf complex oh my god the food was amazing so I had um poached eggs smoked salmon with hollandaise sauce the girls had like a little breakfast bat sausages and some hash browns my mum had like this, um, what was it called? A breakfast hash. It was like potatoes and spinach and spring onion uh, with a poached egg on top. All hashed together with a poached egg on top with um, sriracha, spicy sriracha sauce. And then my cousin and my auntie had full English breakfast and it was it was just gorgeous. Really, really nice. And a really reasonable price, really. A bit more expensive than your average every day. But for the food and the quality of the food, it was lovely. And the service was fantastic. And the place is looks it's pretty pretty new i think it, it was just gorgeous if you're over that way then um yeah give it a go because it's really really nice um and then what did we do in the afternoon we dropped the girls off at my mum's they stayed at my mum and dad's house last night so i don't think my mum had very much sleep because lily woke up in the night wanting her dad which is very strange she usually wants me <laughs> so she was asking for daddy through the night so mum ended up sleeping in the double bed next to her but with her um, and Holly was up at the crack of dawn. I think Holly was up at quarter past five or something like that. So I think my, mom, my mum's a bit shattered. But bless her heart, she's kept the girls. She's keeping them until after Lily's nap, so early this afternoon. And she's going to bring them back after that so we can get some stuff done in the garden. I don't know if anybody, any other parents feel this way, but when you have kids, you just don't get anything done. Like, I can't remember... I cannot remember the last time I saw the bottom of my washing basket, <laughs> genuinely. Um, I just thought, I'm getting myself ready, so let's chat Let's chat all about this whilst I put some makeup on this face, because look at that. Oh gosh, it's not pretty. Okay, I am done. Um, as much makeup as I'm going to put on for a Sunday, definitely. I'm trying to not move because the lighting's a bit funny. Um, so I'm going to take myself off shopping, although I was going to show you some, I was going to show you some makeup bits that I'm loving at the moment that are quite new to me. So let me show you what I'm using that I really, really love and I'm a bit of a convict. Convict? <laughs> Not a convict, a convert. Let's move you that way a bit, see if that makes better lighting. We'll see. Um, and it's the Iconic range. So this is the Iconic London, uh, I think it's the Triple Threat, Triple Threat Mascara. It is fan flipping tastic. That's probably going to be backwards, isn't it? But it is so, so good. Um, my lashes, this was just one coat on my lashes. I don't know if you can see if I can pull it up and you can see. Da, 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 da. It's just really, really good. That was just one coat on my lashes. I'll put another one on in a minute. Um, and then this one is the Iconic Liquid Blusher. And this is in Power Pink Sheer Blush. I love a liquid blusher. I think, again, it's because I suffer with dry skin. Um, and so I, a powder blush is just dry out my skin even more. So a liquid blush, I just I really love. And um, yeah, so those are the two new makeup bits that I've been using that I really, really like. Um, I'm gonna go, I think, go and do the food shopping now, get that done, get that put away. Um, there's a couple of things I might do this afternoon, not sure, might just put around, pot it around the house. The house is just full of dust and stuff. I'm just looking at stuff now going, oh my God, I need to dust everywhere. I don't dust. I feel like dusting is hard work, really. Um, so I don't, I don't really dust. Um, I generally, 
tend to just, when I see a bit of bad dust, I'll brush it off, but I don't think that's gonna fly for very much longer. Um, so I need to dust, I need to put some cardboard out, I need to put some rubbish out, I need to, oh, there's so much in this he's doing, it's ridiculous. <laughs> actually quite overwhelming um so i'm gonna get on and i will speak to you later good evening all it is now sunday night i have been dreadful at vlogging today uh what's the time it's 20 past eight the kidders are in bed and are asleep um but i don't know how that's gonna go because they're both a bit coldy so we shall see um it's been a really good day actually chris did loads in the garden sort out the garden he's just out there now pottering getting bits and pieces in if you see somebody over there um, I went and did the food shop, we did a, we took some stuff down the tip and got rid of some stuff in the tip. Um, the kids then came back, they played outside in the garden while Chris was carrying on the stuff and I managed to tidy a lot of the house and do the vacuum in and cook tea and put the shopping away. So yeah, it just feels like it's been quite a productive day, I just haven't vlogged any of it because it's just hard work. Like I said earlier, it's trying to get in the habit of picking up the camera and that not being an additional thing to have to think about. Do you know what I mean, because when you're a mum to two young kids, that like you've all a lot to think about anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna settle down now. I'm gonna watch a Disney vlog because that's what I love to do. I'm gonna watch the lovely Adam Hatton. Um, have a cocktail before bed. It's back to school tomorrow, East holidays, so all the uniforms are done, everything's sorted, everything's out ready for her. Um, so I'm just going to chill for a little bit before hopefully having an early night. I'm going to finish the vlog here. Thank you for watching if you have. Um, if you've liked this vlog, please hit the like button. I, button? Button? <laughs> button. I don't know if anybody else has this issue. I can't say double T's very well. Like little. Little. I just can't. I can't. Bottle. Oh, bottle I can. Maybe it depends what I say. What the word is anyway um hit the like button i would love you to subscribe um and if you hit the little bell icon next to subscribe you will be notified of when i upload another video so yeah i'm gonna leave you in peace i shall bid you farewell and uh stay safe and be kind to each other and love you lots see you soon